Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, I'm George, and please hit that subscribe button. Today I'm here on Praia de Faro in the Algarve region of Portugal. It's a really beautiful day, the sun is shining, a lot of people out on the beach. And this is the city that I flew into from London. Um, one thing I really like about this, uh, this beach at the moment, there's a lot of people playing on the beach and there's also a lot of these umbrellas uh, to protect people from the sun, which are really quite nicely colored. So I'm gonna try and paint some of those in. There's a painting I really like by an artist called William Merritt Chase, who's an excellent artist. Um, lived around the 1800s, late 1800s. And there's a painting he did of a beach scene with the sort of beach umbrellas out, which I really love. But anyway, I'm gonna try and capture some of the life of the beach and I'm excited. So let's get into this painting. I start my painting by sketching in a rough grid onto the canvas as I find this helps when mapping down the composition as I can relate things vertically and horizontally to other points on the painting. Now I'm going straight in and mixing the colours for the sky. So when I look at the sky I can actually see three distinct colour mixes. On the horizon there's a misty slightly warmish colour to the sky and as the sky goes higher up it takes on a more pale blue hue and the further the sky goes up it starts to take on a deeper blue so I start to add more manganese blue to the mix and also a touch of ultramarine blue as the sky gets higher up on my painting. To paint the horizon I'm using a flat brush and I'm just trying to paint this line as straight as possible using the edge of the brush as the edge of the horizon where the sea meets the sky and I'm trying to paint with my shoulder so just dragging my arm across rather than holding the brush too close to the end and fiddling with my hand as I find if I can do quite a bold movement with my arm the chance of this being straight is better. Although often I find painting the horizon, I often have to do a few attempts until I get it more or less correct. The sea on the horizon has quite a dark blue hue to it. And as the sea gets closer to the foreground, it takes on a more turquoise color and becomes lighter in tonal value. So at the moment, I'm just painting this graduation from dark blue to a light bluish green. Here I'm painting some of the dark greenish sections of the waves where they raise up out of the sea. And next to this I'm painting the white throffy areas where the waves are breaking over and creating this throff as they meet the shore. When painting a seascape on plain air, you have to decide on certain shapes within the waves as they're constantly going to be moving, so you aren't going to be able to paint completely from observation. So you sort of have to pick a pattern that you like within the waves or, or a certain time in the cycle as the tide comes into the shore and go with this. And you will be able to wait a moment until the waves do a similar thing again and use this for reference. However, you won't be able to paint completely from observation and chase the movement of the sea as it moves so quickly. And if you try to do this, you'll never stop painting the sea. Here I've also added some small dabs of white paint with a touch of my cadmium yellow in the mix as well. And I'm just dabbing this paint down onto the sea area of the painting in order to create that glistening effect. It's important to put these light spots down quite definitively and to avoid the temptation to fiddle with them and soften them. 
as this will cause the colour to mix with the sea colour and as a result will lose this shiny effect. To paint the sand I've mixed two distinct colour mixes on my palette. One which is slightly darker and warmer for the wet sand that's closest to the sea, which I paint first, and the other mix is lighter and cooler in colour temperature, which I use to paint the dry section of sand which is higher up on the beach. Here I'm sketching in the positions of the figures that I want to include in the scene, as well as the palm trees and the position of these umbrellas on the beach. And now I'm going in with some more colour and painting these blue and yellow umbrellas which work nicely with the overall colour scheme of the painting. And here I'm adding a bit more detail into the figures and although I'm quite limited with the amount of detail I can actually add as the figures are quite small on the painting and I'm using the smallest brush that I've got I'm just trying to make certain that the values are right, sort of painting down a dark spot for the dark hair, and then I'm also painting the shadows and making certain that all the shadows throughout the painting are coherent, as this helps create that light effect, and you can see that the beach is getting lit by the sun from the right hand side, and therefore is cast in shadows which are pointing towards the left hand side of the painting. So I believe I finished the painting of the beach scene. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, remember to please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And you can follow me on Instagram at George Frederick Thomas. Right now I'm gonna go for a swim. It's quite hot and I've just been looking at the sea. It's my last day here in Portugal, so I really wanna just enjoy a bit of the scenery that I've been painting. Here I'm just using my Ala Prima art carrier to carry my wet painting back to England safely. If you're interested in getting one of these art carriers to carry your paintings, uh, I put a link in the description. It is actually my own invention and I've had quite a lot of success selling them through Etsy and I've sold them worldwide as they're a very affordable, lightweight and practical way to carry your wet paintings, whether you like to paint on a small size, a big size, 
panel or canvas, there's something on the Etsy shop which will work for you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram at George Frederick Thomas. And I'll see you back in England for the next video.